The U1 Shard is an excellent paper airplane that's very unique in that these wings extend far beyond the body of the plane, and I really love that effect as well as this kind of geometric appearance of these sharp angles on the plane. Now, this is pretty easy to fold. There's one step that's a little bit difficult enough that I would call this an intermediate plane rather than an easy one, but it's really not that hard to fold, and it flies very well for this very weird shape that it has, and you'll see that in just a second. Now, I have designed a template for this plane, so if you support me on patreon.com slash foldable flight, you can fold a plane that looks like this by downloading and printing off the template. And of course, there are over 60 other designs available as well, and that's an ever-growing library, so be sure to head over there and check that out. With all that said, let's see this plane in flight, and then I'll teach you how to fold it. All you will need in order to fold this plane is a sheet of 8.5 by 11 or A4 paper. If you are using the template, make sure that your paper is in the orientation shown on screen, and we're actually going to flip it over so that this bottom edge becomes the top edge, and now your colored side of the template should be face down. And we're going to fold this corner here to that corner there, and it is important if you're using the template that you use exactly those corners. and it should look like this. And I'm actually going to rotate the paper now so that this point here is at the bottom. And I'm going to fold this corner to that corner which should fold the paper right in half. Okay, and I can open that up. I'm now going to fold this point right here to that point at the top where the center crease is. I'm grabbing both layers as I do that. Okay, and now you can see I've got these edges here. I'm folding this over that edge and I'm just going to make a crease that runs right along it. And your angles of your wings here will look very different if you're using A4 paper, but don't worry, it's going to work just as well. And we're folding right along that edge as well on the left side. And your plane should look like this. Now we're just folding that top point down to this point here. Like so. And I'm going to go ahead and unfold that. And I actually want to open my paper up into this orientation. And I'm actually going to rotate it. This is just easier for me to work with it this way, I think. And I'm going to take this edge here and fold it to this crease, but you're not going to crease all the way across. So you'll wanna watch carefully as I do this. And I'll explain kind of after I make my crease here. So you can see on the left side, I've actually got a layer right there that is intersecting this edge that I'm making. And right at the point where that intersects, I'm going to kind of pull and I'm landing this new crease I'm making on a layer underneath it. So as I do this, I will go ahead and make the crease and then I'll pull this layer back and you can see that crease I just made was landing right on that layer. So I'm creasing horizontally here when I'm pulling this edge to that crease all the way to the point where that edge intersects this new edge. And then I kind of pull that layer back and open along the layer underneath. On this side, I'm just looking for this crease. I don't have an edge here. I'm just looking for a crease that intersects that top edge. And right where that crease intersects the edge, I'm going to pull back just until I reveal the layer right underneath it and you'll see as I make that crease, that crease is landing right on that edge there. Okay, and now 
I'm going to rotate the paper again, and I'm going to pull the wings down on their existing creases here, but I need to make an outer crease there. And you can see kind of what it's going to look like from the bottom of the plane here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just closing this up on that existing crease and flattening that bubble out there. And now I can pull this point back down and I'm going to flip my plane over. So now you can see we've kind of strengthened what's going to be the leading edge of the plane. And I'm ready to fold from this point here along this edge right there. And if you're using eight and a half by 11 paper, you will see that that should lead you right to this corner. If you're using A4 paper, that won't be the case. Just follow the angle of that edge right there. And you'll do that on both sides. Okay, should look like that. And then I'll flip the plane over and I'm going to fold this edge here to land on the crease I just made. And this will ultimately be the elevator or the elevon of this plane that we're going to be able to adjust to tune the performance of the plane. So I'll do one side, fold this edge now to that crease right there. And now we are ready to fold our wings. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold the plane in half. You can see I'm using very thick paper here, so uh, things might get just a little messy. But basically uh, the wing crease I'm going to make is just a continuation of this bottom edge of the wing from there to the front of the plane. Try not to trap your wing. You can, if you do it too high, you'll see I'm kind of trapping my wing right there lower your crease if that's happening to you. So there's one wing, and then I just fold the other side to match. And there you go. Now all we have left to do is to kind of set the angle of the wings. And so what I like to do is I like to bend these outer sections down actually quite a bit so that they're in an orientation kind of like that. And then you can experiment with the exact adjustment you need to make on these elevators or elevons to uh, get the plane to fly with a nice nose up tendency and glide pretty well. You'll notice though, because of the asymmetry of the plane, the alignment of these wings may not be exact and you may even have to bring one elevator up higher than the other in order to get it to fly well. So if it's spiraling clockwise, then you'll need to raise the left elevator up a little higher than the right one. And of course, if it's spiraling in the opposite direction, the opposite is true. So with all of that said, thank you so much for folding this plane and good luck flying.